Good evening, everyone. Tonight, uh, we are privileged to be here once again to continue the Liga, our program. Obviously, each time I'm here, I have quite a distinct topic. And as I made a promise last time that I'll be looking into detail all the categories of the skill worker business. So tonight I'm going to take my time to explain another category of skill worker visa. Because it's not all about nurses and care workers. Last time I took my time to explain how people can obviously attain settlement as short as three years without relying on a sponsor. But tonight I'm here for quite distinct topic, which is creative worker visa. That is what I'm going to discuss tonight. Now, obviously, this is the first time you have joined me. Uh, we do this program every Tuesday in English, and then on Wednesday in Chi, uh, MC Chaka, uh, host the program on Wednesdays uh, from 9 p.m. So if you have joined us for the first time, uh, welcome on board. Make sure that uh, you click the bell, you follow us, uh, uh, so that each time we are in this studio where we teach the law, you will be able to get our notification and come on board. Because there is so much you can learn, there is so much that you will be able to learn by following our channels. And so which channels can you follow? Obviously, we have City Media TV. Uh, this is one of our Facebook channels. Uh, you can also work this show, City Lost Oysters uh, Facebook channel. Uh, you can watch it uh, from YouTube. City Laws Sorcerers YouTube channel. And above all, my own personal profile, you can also watch this show from there. Uh, you can also listen to the radio. So, in fact, there is no excuse for you to mix this wonderful show. So, I want to say that um, everything that I'm going to discuss here is for guidance only. If you really need um, proper endorsed advice, then I will advise that you seek professional advice. And if you don't have one, City Law Services will be more than happy to assist you. Now, without wasting my time, I want to invite you to invite a friend to invite a friend, to invite a family member, to invite a family member, so that we can build a community of knowledge, because knowledge is power. So uh, I'll go on a short commercial break. Uh, when I come back, I'm going to take my time to dissect, to explain, and to give free quality legal advice to you out there watching me tonight in terms of uh, looking at creative worker visa. That is what I'll be doing tonight. So please don't go away as I go on the short commercial break.
Hello everyone, thank you for your patience. As I said from the beginning, uh, I'm going to continue the discussion on the skilled worker categories, because there are various categories. Uh, for the past weeks, I've been looking at some of them. Uh, tonight, I'm looking at the creative worker visa. Obviously, very soon we are going to celebrate Christmas uh, and during those festivities uh, most times uh, people may have to uh, sometimes get visa to travel to perform activities and all that. So I am looking at this particular, particular category of visa which falls under the skilled worker route. Uh, I said last time that this skilled worker is not just about healthcare workers and nurses uh, and IT professionals. But it's also about those who can make contribution to the culture of this country. So, obviously, uh, there are distinct services that people can provide. And the creative sector is also one of those areas that there is a special route for people to get visas uh, by relying on sponsors. So tonight I'm going to take my time to explain uh, this category of skilled worker route, which is also available to both applicants and uh, businesses to rely upon in order to be able to uh, facilitate entry of their staff and crew members. So I'm going to take my time to explain because uh, this skilled worker visas have come to stay. And because of those mandatory requirements for most of them, I, I said last time that most of uh, uh, ever since uh, there was Brexit uh, and then UK ceased to be a member of the European Union and the imposition of some English language requirement for those who want to travel from abroad and work in the UK. It has become almost impossible for those countries who don't speak English uh, to be able to come here and work. So you find out that a lot of people from India and most African countries now having the opportunity to come to the UK because they are able to uh, obviously demonstrate that they can uh, speak the English language and they, they, they go further to pass the tests and, and some of them are graduates and, and therefore it's quite easier for them compared to somebody coming from Germany or France or Netherlands wherein it is almost impossible for some of them to speak the English language and therefore, it is my duty uh, to explain those categories of places uh, that are not yet known to people, so people can become aware of them. Uh, because most times, uh, you need to have that knowledge uh, by exploring it in order to be able to make use of it. Uh, recently, uh, I went for a conference and uh, there is this charity organization who, which was promoting uh, what they call legal choice. And one thing I learned from uh, the whole program that was being promoted at that time is the fact that most people, a lot of the problems that they face is legal problem. Most people face legal problems. But the fact is that they lack the legal knowledge in order to even to be able to establish or to identify that the problem they are facing is a legal problem. So most of us, either because of our ignorance or the fact that uh, we are not experienced in certain uh, areas of life, we lack that knowledge. And most of that issues or problems is a legal problem. So this legal choice has set it out to be promoting and uh, enhancing people's rights. That's exactly what I'm doing here by making sure that you out there 
understand and know that there are various categories of skill worker uh, visa route that is available to you by making this legal choice available to you and that's why city law service says we are every we are here every tuesday uh, and obviously wednesday in three language to help to uh, promote that legal choice so you out there can have that choice to know that this problem i'm facing is a legal problem so um i'm grateful to those of you who have just joined uh and i want to urge uh, uh, you to continue to also invite your friends to join the show because this is where we teach the law. Right, so tonight I'm looking at creative worker visa. Last time I looked at um, how people can get their settlement without relying on sponsor by getting an endorsement from endorsement endorsing body. Um, and tonight I'm looking at creative worker visa. As I've said, for those of you who are already familiar, there are numerous businesses that we have been able to secure sponsorship licenses for them. And most of them uh, are now being able to obviously grow their business by recruiting those talents that they require in order to enable them to move to the next stage of their business. That is what City Law Services is always here keen to do. Uh, and, and tonight, I am here to also look at the creative sector. Most people don't know that anyone who makes contribution to the rich culture of the United Kingdom, whether that person lives any part of the world, there is a route, a visa route for that person to be able to come to the UK to make that immense contribution like him. So tonight I'm looking at this creative worker visa and I'm going to explore those who are eligible to make those applications to come from abroad and those who are also here who are eligible to become sponsors. So I'm going to start with the sponsors because obviously last time when uh, we started this whole show and I'm proud to say that City Law Services, we were almost the presenters who started announcing about this scale worker visa when uh, Developer Blue was uh, then hosting this show. Uh, immediately after we had Brexit, I started announcing that it's going to be a route for people to come from abroad and come and work in this country because we are no longer in the EU. Uh, and eventually we can see that whatever uh, we foresaw is what is happening now because we are the presenters we are now giving people uh, that legal choice by directing them to other areas of the law that have also been created to enable them to facilitate entry of those staff that they require to perform certain tax uh, which are lacking uh, obviously there is shortage in most of these uh, areas so Creative Worker Visa. What is it all about? The starting point is that for one to become a sponsor, uh, and here by analogy, if someone owns a care company, uh, because this is the one that people are, most people are very familiar with, but it's not the only category of visa that is available on a scale worker visa anyway. So that person needs to, for example, own a business, get regulation, and eventually that person then makes application either through their legal representatives or by themselves, and then eventually get a license. That license then makes them what they call a sponsor. And that sponsorship license then enables them to get allocations and then uh, issue what they call a certificate of sponsorship to either candidates who are in country or candidates who are in abroad to then, to, for those who in, in country to switch from one category of visa to the other, for those who are abroad to come to the UK and come and work for that employer. So by that analogy, the creative worker visa is very predominant, prevalent, common in the entertainment industry. And I'm going to tell you why this particular visa is so unique 
and so distinct by its nature because of the differences in the requirements that one needs to satisfy in order to come to the United Kingdom. So normally for someone to set out to become a sponsor, to bring these people from abroad, to make that contribution in the culture, the red culture of the United Kingdom, they need to be identified as certain entities. One, it can be somebody who is a promoter. Most people now promote most of their stuff on Facebook, on social media, uh, like Instagram. All these promoters are people who are equally eligible to become sponsors if, for example, they want to bring somebody from abroad. The second category, if those who own venues, people have venues that they use it to rent out for occasions, those owners are equally eligible. You don't simply, you don't have to be a care company owner to bring people from abroad. By owning a venue, you are also eligible to become a sponsor to bring people from abroad. If you are in the media industry and own a media company, recently we went for, I and my colleague went for a wedding reception and went to met a gentleman who owns a studio. He has, he's in the media industry. And there was a point that he, uh, at the time that he said, look, I'm recruiting a staff. I need you guys to draft a contract of employment for me. Now, this particular gentleman is in the media industry, he owns a studio. He is also eligible to bring people from abroad. Now, most times uh, I hear about Ghana Music Award and some of these programs. These organizers, I mean organizers, those who also organize programs. So these organizers, they are the fourth category of people who are also eligible to become sponsors by making application for sponsorship licenses. So you realize that it is not distinct for someone in this industry to make this application. We have those also in the movie industry who, for example, artists. So anybody in the creative industry or entertainment industry, whether because you own a venue, whether because you're a promoter, whether because you're an organizer, whether because you own a studio and want to bring somebody from abroad to come and work in that studio. You are also eligible to make application for the sponsorship license. And now, we it's good news that we have a lot of uh, people who patronizing our services to make uh, sponsorship license application for them so that they can become care uh, you can have care sponsorship license to bring people from abroad, but this is not the only category of people who are eligible to make uh, to become sponsors. All these uh, people don't have to open up care companies because they are also eligible to bring people from abroad by getting sponsorship uh, visa in that category of their trade. So I have looked at who is eligible to become a sponsor by, for example, mentioning promoters, organizers, uh, venue owners, uh, those in the entertainment industry who may own studios. All these categories of people are eligible to make this application to become sponsors by analogy, just like someone who owns a care company can then apply for sponsorship licenses and then bring people from abroad. So these are the categories of the sponsors 
or those who are eligible to own licenses and bring people from abroad. Now, let's now look at the applicants. There is a distinction here. There is a difference between becoming a sponsor, where you get a sponsorship license, and then there is that difference between that person and the one that get the sponsorship or the certificate of sponsorship. The one that get a certificate of sponsorship is the applicant, is the one that certificate has been issued to for that person to come and join that sponsor in the UK. So I have looked at those who are eligible for the license. I'm now going to look at those who are eligible for the certificate of the sponsorship. They need that certificate to come to the United Kingdom. So I will look at the category of people and then I will gradually go into the requirements. But before I do that, I want to uh, acknowledge those who are on the platform. Uh, I'm always glad to have most of you here. Please, if you are watching this, uh, put a comment because your presence is so important to me and I want to acknowledge you. So I have, uh, I have Tina Tamakuru, uh, lovely to see you here, who is watching. I have Kofi Lancaster, Chief. I still remember the Lavishing report last week. I think it was uh, uh, a week from yesterday when uh, we started together to be following Lavishi. Uh, Chief said that lawyer about compress. So thank you so much for uh, the warm reception and the pouring of the Lavishi. <laughs> so I have uh, Sawa Bonsu. Sawa Bonsu, uh, you are welcome uh, to this show. We are here every Tuesday and Wednesday for the Liga Hour program, proudly sponsored by City Love so, so, so thank you so much for joining us. I have Sir Vasco Damwa. Sir Vasco, thank you once again for joining us here. I have YK Francis. YK Francis said, good program. YK Francis, you have my number. I want you to contact me after this show or tomorrow. Um, I have Rosemary Ama Zunu. Uh, Rosemary, thank you so much for also joining us uh, tonight. And then I have Dora Frimpong. Dora, thank you for joining us uh, tonight. Sophia Asong, you said kudos, lawyer, for the great job. Well, Sophia, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, I have Ernestina Kakari who is also watching us tonight, Nestina. Thank you so much. I have Festus Opoku, my Lord. My Lord, thank you so much for watching tonight. Um, sometimes if you don't make a comment, I don't know how this whole thing works. Uh, if I don't acknowledge you, please pardon me because sometimes there is an oversight. Uh, I can only see those who have made comments and hear them. I have first to accept my Lord while well, I said it already. I'm watching you live, still place. First of the people, thank you so much. I have Richie Dussurais. I hope I've mentioned your name properly. Uh, Richie Dussurais is also watching us tonight. I have highly favored Priscilla who is also watching. Uh, Richie said, following you live, lawyer. Thank you so much for. I have Freddie Kwao who is also a regular member of this show, who is also watching us tonight. Uh, thank you, guys. I have Nana Banahen Disekan. Wow, this is a very powerful title. Nana Banahen Disekan, who is also watching. Uh, it's a nice topic. Thank you, Nana Banahen. And I have Kufi Lancaster, uh, our chief, <laughs> chief vanda, who is a lawyer by Kumpe. So, guys, um, it's all about promoting legal choice. Most of us face problems, that problem, apart from those of us who have health problems, most of the problems we face in this world is legal choice. Even those of you having problems with accounting issues, need filing of, it's all about legal choice. It's about knowledge, because knowledge is power.
So I said from the beginning that uh, obviously I know that there are numerous categories of skilled worker goods available uh, 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 and therefore I'm taking my time to be taking viewers through them gradually. Uh, last time I discussed how people can make application uh, as a skilled worker without relying on a sponsor and being able to settle here within three years, if not less. And tonight I'm looking at the credit worker visa route because obviously there is soon going to be Christmas and there are going to be numerous celebrations. But one can rely on these celebrations to be able to facilitate people who want to come and make contributing to the contribution to the culture, to come and entertain us, to be precise. And therefore there is a visa route for these people. Now I've already explained uh, those businesses or those individuals who can uh, obviously end up registering to become sponsors and having to become sponsors they will now be able to bring people from abroad to come to the UK. So, um, having said that, I'm now looking at the individuals coming from abroad. Now, which people are able to come under the creative worker category? The first group of people that uh, I'll take my time to mention them one by one. Uh, we have an artist, uh, this group of people are eligible to come to the UK. So if, for example, uh, one has recently had one of my clients uh, that represented him in the immigration matter, uh, and he has this huge talent, and then he went to Ghana to uh, start a movie, and then he called me and said, look, he has got somebody who wants to promote this movie, so he wanted us to set up a, a proper contract so that he will not be cheated of this huge talent that he has. Uh, and obviously we practice an area under the media and entertainment. So, uh, it's city law, we're everywhere. Now, so, this person is eligible to bring people for this uh, movie. But the fact is that it is not just those who are actors. You are coming with your crew members. You are coming with a makeup artist. You are coming with all the incidental services. The cameraman. So I'm just describing just one category of the group that are eligible to then get certificate of sponsorship to come in. I've, for those of you who have just joined me, I already explained those who are eligible to become sponsored by getting sponsorship uh, license and I've explained that but when I'm doing my summary I obviously uh, take viewers to so bear with me if you have patience you'll be able to learn my tonight so all these people uh, can accompany this artist uh, the crew members uh, the makeup artists the cameramen the script writers all of them are eligible to come to the UK under the creative worker I know most of these people they come here with all these visit visitors because they like this knowledge that there is this food that allows them to come in as creative worker visa and the second group is for example those who are singers if they are coming in they are equally eligible to come uh, with a dress man, with uh, all the crew. So you realize that we have artists, we have even uh, people who promote themselves as models who also want to come to the United Kingdom. What you don't probably know is that, just imagine this Christmas, uh, if we have some of these artists, we have some uh, movie shows, we have all these things happening, all these things 
are contributing to the diversity and the rich culture of the United Kingdom. And that is why these people are also eligible to come here. Right. So we have this category of people who are also able to do that. In fact, we even have those who are in the fashion industry. These days, sometimes uh, I watch a lot of people uh, on Instagram, how people are changing their dresses and wearing different clothes and showing talents in dresses. These people are also in the fashion industry. And in fact, they are able to also uh, uh, apply for visa and they can come in with their makeup artists and all the people, uh, even their seamstress, all those people that uh, sew their clothes and everything to the UK. So this is the creative worker visa route. But let me look at the other requirements. The challenge for most people, especially even carers coming to the United Kingdom, is most of them need to pass English language test. That is mandatory requirement. And now most of the skilled worker visas require English language certificate, B1. From my experience, in all most of the areas that uh, I've gone through. But this creative worker visa, it is the only distinct category that does not require one to have English language certificate. So you might not even be able to know how to read and write. So you see, there is avenue for those who are even illiterate to come in under the creative worker visa. Because most times, people feel that, oh, this skilled worker visa is only available for those who are highly educated. Tonight, I've been able to prove you wrong. That like even illiterates are, with respect to them, those who cannot read, cannot write, they are also eligible to apply and come in under the creative worker visa category. Right, so um, going further. Now this visa can also extend up to two years. And I'm going to tell viewers the costs as well. So you realize that I have already explained those people who can become sponsors and those who will be eligible to come in and those people who are also part of the crew who might not exhibit any exceptional talent as either artist, either as entertainer, either as a and I tell you what, most of these people come to this country with visit visas. Why? They lack this knowledge. And I have no even famous artists and all these people moving around coming in with visit visas. When in fact, there is a special route available for these people to come in, not just themselves, because if you are coming, on a visit visa, you are limited in terms of the amount of the queue that you can, can accompany you to the United Kingdom. But if you are coming under this category of the creative worker visa, then the entire crew who can be part of your program are all eligible to be entitled to visa. And the distinction is that most times I hate to do visit visa application for people because sometimes no matter what you write, the entry clearance officer may refuse that application because that person has no right of appeal, no right of administrative review. But more importantly, they always want to look at the person's socioeconomic circumstances, which means that if you are not rich, if you are not doing well, 
and you are not able to show that you are well connected back home, then your visa will be refused. And that's for sometimes, most of these organizers, you hear that they will want to bring people, they put in applications, and most of these applications are refused. You know why? Because when you are using the wrong category of visa route, which is bringing people in, uh, these people who are obviously have explained fall within the creative sector, bringing them under the different and wrong visa category, which is visit visas. Those people need to show incentive to return. And in most cases, some of these crew members don't have money in their accounts. They have nothing to show. And therefore, most of these visas are going to be refused because of the fact that every visa category has requirements that needs to be certified under the route. Right. So, um, so you realize that this is why most people, sometimes uh, some people may want to organize a very big show and eventually you find only few people uh, being able to come because of the fact that most of the crew members and all the people around them have been refused. But tonight I am here to teach you that there is a visa category called Creative Worker Visa that allows you to avoid being refused by using Visa Visa because these people and the entire crew members are eligible to make these applications and come to the UK and they don't need to show the same requirements that they need to show when they are making Visa Visa application and they don't need to show that they have satisfy English language requirement because it's not a requirement. They don't need to show income except that if the sponsor, here, yeah, let me now make this point here. Most times when you guys are bringing all these people to the visa visa category, you need to show that they have income to pay for themselves, to pay for the crew, to pay. And most of these people, even the source of funds sometimes is questionable because most people lack the capacity to provide evidence to show the source of funds and that's why from experience most visa visas are refused most times people have genuine funds but they lack the evidence to show the source where these funds genuine funds are coming from if you're using the creative worker visa route you don't need to show any income Therefore, the entry grants officer is not going to look at your bank statement and say, oh, because money was paid into your account for so and so without any evidence, I have refused your visa. And most of you watching me, you, have, you, would have, you, you would have read most of these letters most of the time. So, there is no income requirement if the employer, in this case, either the organizer, the promoter, uh, the venue organizer, uh, has satisfied your maintenance. There is no English language requirement. You are also eligible to bring in all the crew members and all the people that will provide incidental service. I mean, those who do makeup, those who, if, if they are playing drums, those who play guitars, everybody that you want to come along under the creative worker visa doesn't have to show anything and they will still be eligible to get visa. But above all, you are also eligible to bring your wife and children. So apart from bringing crew members, both wife and children are also eligible to make those applications. The one distinct thing about this care worker route is that each time you are making this application, there is an opportunity for this dependence to also be eligible to join. So I am gradually coming to the end of this discussion uh, and I want to uh, summarize uh, by, for, for the benefit of those of you who have just joined me, uh, and before I do that, again, I want to acknowledge those who have just joined. I always say that if you have just joined, please make a comment. Let me acknowledge you because 
Your presence here is so important to me. Uh, at the moment, I have uh, MZ Jenny Amufa, that too, who is here. If I have not mentioned your name for please, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'm grateful that you have joined us tonight. I have Uchilo uh, Chigozum Flomo. Great program, my first time, and it is quite educative and engaging. Thanks, guys. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank you, uh, Uchilo. If I've not mentioned your name properly, please forgive me. Uh, I have Frederick Mensa, uh, Fred Mensa, who is also watching tonight. Uh, Lancaster, I think I've already acknowledged you. I have philosopher uh, Kane and Okinye Kenechi. Um, right. So, um, gradually coming to the end of the show, and I want to use this moment to summarize what I've been discussing tonight. Uh, I started by saying that uh, under the skirt worker visa, we have various categories of visas. Uh, a lot of you are already familiar about uh, care companies being eligible to bring in people from abroad and also to switch visas in country. Uh, last time I also discussed how one can even make a skilled worker application without relying on a sponsor in the UK uh, and also how to get a settlement within three years. Uh, tonight, I've been looking at the Creative Worker Visa, which is another category of visa. Uh, last time, I made a promise that I would take viewers graduate to all the visa categories that are available. Uh, and uh, tonight, I've been looking at the Creative Worker Visa category. Uh, I have taken my time to explain uh, which people are eligible to become sponsors. And I said that uh, promoters who promote programs either on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, they are eligible to make application for sponsorship licenses. Uh, we have organizers, people who, for example, organize this Ghana Music Award and, and other programs. Uh, they are also eligible to make application for sponsorship licenses, just like their companies make application for sponsorship licenses. We have venue owners. Some people own venues where they organize weddings and all those stuff and programs, events. They are also eligible to make application for sponsorship licenses and get be able to sponsor people to bring them from abroad. And I also said that those in the entertainment industry, for example, those who own studios and others, so anyone who makes rich contribution to the culture of the United Kingdom is eligible, either as a business or as an individual, to make an application for sponsorship licenses under the Creative Worker Visa route. But above all, a lot of people are also eligible to make these applications to come from abroad once they have gotten sponsorship, a uh, certificate of sponsorship from the sponsor in the UK. And these people could be those who are musicians, artists, uh, those who, for example, are in the fashion industry, uh, those who are in the entertainment industry, and uh, most of these people, what I have observed is that they come in with visit visas, and most of them get refused. A whole program sometimes flop because those people who are coming to grace the occasion get their visas refused. Why? Because they are using visa visa route, which are separate and very strict requirements. However, if they use the Creative Worker Visa uh, application route, they don't need to show income uh, if the sponsor has satisfied that they will be maintained by that sponsor. They don't need to show any English language requirement and because of that, even illiterates with respect to them, those who cannot read and write, will be eligible. We have Kuno members, we have makeup artists, any member of the team is eligible to get Visa as long as the main person who is leading the show have been able to get a visa. So you see, this is an opportunity for people to avoid the line of visa visas, especially those who come into the UK. Soon we'll be having Christmas and most of these people will be making these applications. 
and most of them get refused because they use the wrong category of visa. I have been able to explain to you guys that there is now this category of visa available to you guys. So you can now stop relying on the visa visa, which I have already explained in most cases have been refused. Now, if you come in with this visa, you're also able to switch. You're able to extend it. Most visa visas, you can't extend it if you are here. You can extend this visa after about two years. You can switch. If you come in and you fall in love with someone, you might this place might become your home. You will not be asked to go back and come back again. If you come in here and you find another job, you will be able to switch. So that place, it means that this is an open door for you to uh, come to the UK and make a start of life. So it's been a uh, privilege having you here at this particular time. I am going to open the phone lines. Uh, I say that I am not a pharmacist. I can't give prescription. I am not a doctor to diagnose you of your illness. But I can give you legal choice, which is what I'm doing now. And there's one thing for sure, I know the law. So tonight, I want to invite you, if you have any legal question, this is your opportunity for free quality legal advice. The phone lines are going to be opened, and if you have any legal question, you are free to ask. So uh, if you are watching uh, the scrolling sign, you will see that the phone lines are there. I can also mention them to you. Uh, the phone lines are 0744-033-8623. I repeat, 0744-033-8623. That's the first studio number. There's a second studio number, which is also, 0793-293-4518. 0793-293-4518. Now, at this moment, I am going to take, whilst I'm waiting for callers, or those who want to make, Contribution, if you have any contribution, if you have any testimony, <laughs> I am not a pastor, but of course, you can give a testimony of some good work still lots of success have done for you. Um, if you want to ask question, the phone lines are now open. But I'll take a moment to advertise what City Law Services does, because I am giving viewers legal choice. That's what I learned for the conference that I attended, the SRA conference I attended. Because most people, the problem we are facing in this country is a legal choice. It's a legal problem, but they don't even know it's a legal problem. Some people are even eligible to make a claim. They don't know. Some people are in houses that they are suffering from illness. They don't know they are entitled to compensation. Some people get accident at the workplace. They don't know. They don't get paid uh, company sick pay. And they start crying. Their bank accounts, their diabetes begin to fail. It's a legal choice because you don't know you are right. And that is why City Law Services is here every Tuesday and Wednesday to enhance your legal right so that you'll be able to know you are right. So tonight I'm going to uh, announce our areas of specialization. Now, we specialize in the following areas of law. Uh, we specialize in immigration. I love immigration. I love the fact that uh, most time we're able to make a lot of difference in people's life uh, by assisting them to regularize their stay. And for those of you who want to become British, those of you who want to bring your spouses and your husbands who are abroad and your children, uh, we are very, very willing and capable to assist. Uh, employment law, just before I left this office, I secured uh, compensation for one of the clients uh, who in no time is going to receive that payment. So we are always here if you have been unfairly dismissed from work, uh, if you have suffered discrimination at a workplace, you have been a victim uh, or you've been victimized because of your protected characteristics, uh, being it race, being it religion, uh, being it because you are maternity or pregnant, 
All these areas are protected characteristics that needs to be protected at the workplace. So whenever there is a breach of it, that affects the Equality Act, and therefore that employer will be liable for compensation. And we are here to assist you to claim what directly belongs to you. Great. So uh, that is our employment law. Uh, uh, it's no me, no fee. You don't pay as a person if we don't get that money for you. We only get percentage when we have secured, just as I said that uh, just before I left office, we managed to secure one for one of the clients and very soon she would be laughing. She told me he wanted to use that money to buy a car. Uh, and I was so happy for him. So uh, obviously, uh, most of you who will be having some of these employment problems, there is compensation I wait for you. If you look into the case and the case has merit, we'll fight, we'll make sure you win, because when we win, we also win. And it's no win, no fee, so you have nothing to lose. Family law. We are family law accredited. Let me just tell you, when they say a law firm is family law accredited, it means we are the peak of the practice. We are not just solicitors. We are accredited family law firm. And therefore, your complex family law problems, we can dissect it, resolve it, give you peace of mind. These days, most people get stroke and heart attack because there are so many family problems. You need a legal professional to assist you to go through that difficulty. We'll give you that comfort, that peace of mind, that assurance. City law services, your anchor of hope. So if you have any family law problems, we are here to assist you. If you've not been allowed to see your child or your children and you want to put in place child arrangement order, we'll be here to assist you. If you are going through divorce and you want us to assist you in terms of uh, the matrimonial settlement, we are here to assist you. If you have suffered domestic abuse as a victim and you want to put in place restraining order, non molestation order, occupation order, to take that victim out of that house, we will be here to assist you. But hey, those of you who have also become respondents, I mean those of you uh, that has been alleged that you have uh, perpetrated uh, or you have uh, abuse people in the home. These days, this is a criminal offense. I always say it here that there was a client that we represented. Uh, the other party is now in prison, in custody, uh, custody, seven custodial sentence. So if you have any of these problems, please don't take it lightly. Seek legal advice. And if you want us to defend you for against that person who have uh, made lies against you so that you may end up going to prison, We'll be here to defend you ferociously to ensure that you don't go to prison. Uh, personal injury and clinical negligence. If you ever had accident either at the workplace, uh, in a car accident, or a public place, you went to the shop, you trip, there was water over the place, and uh, the shop attendant turned a blind eye, and then you just slipped and perhaps uh, broke your knee, uh, had score injury. We are here to support you. Any accident that was not your fault, our personal injury department will be willing to assist you. Commercial disputes and civil litigation, if someone is owing you and he doesn't want to pay the money, if you have provided a service to someone and he has refused to pay, if you made a deposit to buy something and that person feels that he doesn't want to uh, deliver the goods to you, or if those of you who sign contracts without reading it, if you are being dragged to the civil court because of contract that you signed and probably, probably didn't even enjoy the service, we'll be here to defend you. So any commercial and civil litigation matter, city law services is here to assist. But beyond that, if you're a young business, you are just starting a business and you want to put in place uh, some policies in terms of 
uh, your contract of employment in terms of setting up uh, shareholders agreement, in terms of setting up directors agreement, in terms of setting up partnership agreement. Most times when you start businesses, it's so nice, but when the money starts coming, because of greed, there is always fight. It's important that you put in place a policy so that everybody knows where they stand before the commencement of the business. Otherwise, most times, you see people dragging themselves to court because of the money. Housing law. If, for example, your house is not fit for human habitation, you are being evicted illegally, unlawfully, city law services will be here to assist you. Consumer law. If the insurance company have refused to pay your compensation, will be here to assist you. And media entertainment, which is uh, some of the people that have described that they are eligible to make this application as care worker category. So you see, City Law Services is a one-stop law center where all your problems can be solved. One touch. I'm very grateful to all of you for joining us tonight. Uh, it's been a privilege to have you. I have blessing, Emily. Wow, blessing. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, I have Joseph, Josephine Donko. Oh, Josephine, finally you see my face on camera. Thank you for also joining us. I have Eric uh, Kufualo. Please pardon me if I'm unable to pronounce your name properly. Uh, <laughs> A certain man will say that my R and my L is always a problem for me. So uh, I have Eric uh, Kufualo, uh, who is also watching tonight. Um, if I have not acknowledged you, probably I have not seen your name, but I want to say big thank you to all of you who have been part of this show. I'm so happy that we have a wonderful discussion. Please, when I leave here, this program continues to be on my platform, uh, my own personal profile, City Law Sources uh, channel, City Media TV. It stays there permanently. So if you mix every part, any part of the show, or if any of uh, you have mixed what uh, or part of this program, uh, or you find it quite exciting and insightful and educative, uh, this program is recorded and is also uh, you can watch it again and again and again and again and again uh, because it will stay there permanently. Uh, my only disclaimer is that any uh, advice that I have been given here is for guidance only uh, and therefore we urge you to seek proper legal advice uh, and for whatever reason you don't have a professional legal person to assist you then of course all the areas of law that I have just mentioned will be more than happy to assist all of you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you.